Where so is Joe Biden? The headline is Joe hey. Biden suggests that Trump my, supporters are garbage. But it was on. based on the Puerto Rico comments and things like that. Not coming from Donald can, Trump. Can you hear me? It was Rich's boy. I um, mean, Hinchcliffe. I mean, uh, Mr. Biden, kill, you're, uh, kill you're Tony. Muted. President, uh, Mr. President, you're uh, muted. Kill Tony has commented. Tony Hinchcliffe has said, these people have no sense of humor. Wild that a vice presidential candidate, Tim Walls, would take time out of his busy schedule to analyze a joke taken out of context. I love Puerto Rico. I vacationed there. I made fun of everyone. Watch the whole set. I'm a comedian, Tim Walls. Might be time to change your tampon. Okay. <laughs> That's from Tony. Uh, in other related Tony. news, Jimbo Kimball, Jimmy Kimmel is crying, wants Republicans to watch his video begging them to not vote for Trump. You don't say. He's such a weenie, that guy. What happened to that guy? I'm not saying that he, I don't know. Something about him is just weak. I'm not saying he's weak for voting for Biden, or I mean Kamala here. He's like begging people? I don't know. Weird. You know what that's weird? Like, he, hey, you're voting for Kamala? They, like, it's a, such a double standard. I don't, I don't know. I saw someone talk about this with Nick Bosa on the 49ers. Oh, you're voting for Trump? All right, whatever. Uh, okay. Nick, you're Nick, begging Nick, people? Nick Bosa. I mean, he's, he's more influential there's, than most. I get it. There's a ridiculously odd double standard. And if, if Democrats can't at least acknowledge it, it would be like Republicans not acknowledging their faults as well. When someone in the media talks about their support of Kamala Harris, it's uh, applauded by the by the media. Like... Billie Eilish or, oh, do you see, uh, you know, Taylor Arnold. Swift put her support or this person. Like when someone in the media. I'm endorsing uh, Kamala Harris. That, I never endorse candidates, uh, but I'm endorsing. Well, that's, uh, that's uh, heralded, right? Nick Bosa has his Make America Great Again hat. Everyone's like, what a piece of shit. Like you don't see the I mean, odd that goes, double standard. That's both ways. There's so but much hypocrisy. I, I don't that to care that much about politics is a joke. But I don't, it's a I, clown show. But bro. I don't get why if, someone, s- if someone comes out Supporting the Democrat. Again, it's like watching the WWE. Just well, take it for what it is. Most of our, I mean, think about it. Most people have friends and family on both sides, and it's pretty equal. Look at our country. Half, half of my friends and family are like, Trump, 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 it's Trump. BS, half it's my friends and Half my friends and family are like, he's the biggest piece of shit in the world. I feel like we got a pretty good gauge of both sides. And I'm fascinated. I really do think the double standard is if you publicly support Kamala Harris, it's like, if you publicly support Donald Trump, it's like piece of shit. Yeah, but how about like a celebrity begging you, begging, begging Republicans? Like Very they give a fuck about what Jimmy Kimmel says. I mean, for all my Trump supporting pals on Long Island, our friend Shannon Mauser's a. And by the way, aren't you, know, you sick of seeing these ads during the World Series? A lot of, a lot, I mute the I mute the commercials because I feel like it gets real loud. Surround sounds booming with fucking commercials. Attaboy. I'm just saying. Turn on. Uh, we all have friends that support both parties. And I think we have a lot of friends that are very open about it. Spock, go on Facebook and I bet you half your friends are Trump, 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 and half your friends are like Kamala. But I, I don't, there is a little hypocrisy there. Pay attention to that shit. 